HBCU game day here with some hump day hoops to get you through this week. We had a great North vs. South CIAA division matchup as Virginia Union came down to Charlotte to face off against Johnson C. Smith University. The Golden Bulls, fresh off a one-point win against Winston-Salem State that moved them to 5-2 overall in CIAA conference play, while the Panthers of Virginia Union are looking for some get back after a weekend loss against Elizabeth City as they try to keep pace in what is a tough CIAA Northern Division. I'm going to cut the wax poetic short and get right into this one because it turned out to be a great game. Johnson C. Smith started the game out with that press and run style that's been causing trouble in the CI this year. They go on a 20-9 run in the first 10 minutes of the game. Both Robert Davis and Christian Kirchman went for 11 points in the first half. Here we see Kirchman finding Davis in the corner for three. And if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. Christian Kirchman cross court to Davis this time for another three. Union knocks off some of that bus rust from that long drive from Richmond late in the first. Panthers doing work down low. Devin Moore keeping his squad in it with eight big dog points in the first. Union closing that gap late in the half. Corey Cooley gets a hand on the ball. His teammate Jamal Smith gets the steal and puts it right back out on the break for Cooley who finishes with the soft touch. Panthers down six in the final seconds of the first half. Corey Cooley drives the lane, misses it off the front of the rim. Malik Ford brings down the board. He finds Christian Kirchman who fights through some tough D, gets two dribbles past half court and lets it fly. The Golden Bulls go into the half up nine after the sweet buzzer beater. But Virginia Union didn't drive four hours south not to put up a fight. Panthers go on an eight nothing second half run to get their first lead of the game. Corey Cooley got busy after halftime. He drops 14 of his game high 19 points in the second. But my man Pusha C, Christian Kirchman was out here grinding. Can we take a second to appreciate this smooth hezzy cross he puts on you? Oh my goodness. The Golden Bulls and the Panthers went blow for blow for the rest of the half with neither team leading by more than four points after the six minute mark. Here we're all tied up at 61 with a minute and a half left to play. Robert Davis went one for six in the second half, but his one was a big one. Davis goes baseline, gets caught up in a double team and somehow gets the tough bucket in the paint to go in with the flick of the wrist. JCSU goes up 63-61, but Virginia Union with the clap back, Jamel Smith works the pick and roll with William Jenkins. Jenkins picks, rolls, fights through a double team himself and gets the game time bucket with 20 seconds left to play. Coach Joyner said he's not going to overcomplicate this. Get the ball into your leading scorer's hands and let him go to work. Under 10 seconds left in the game, Robert Davis, one-on-one -on -one with Corey Cooley and Davis gets that crucial step he needs to get the foul called on the drive to the basket. Davis at the line looking for the go-ahead free throw. He hits both of them. Virginia Union gets up the floor quickly. Jamel Smith looking for Cooley, but it's tipped out by Johnson C. Smith's Roddick Davis. Setting up one last chance for Virginia Union. Under one second left to play, their only shot is the lob. Jamel Smith puts up a good one, but Anthony Harper gets a hand on it before Jordan Peebles can slam it home. And that's all she wrote, my friends. Johnson C. Smith gets a big win over Virginia Union, 65-63. Smith takes over the top spot in the Southern Division. They head to Raleigh on Saturday to face the number two team in the South in the Shaw Bears, while Virginia Union looks to stop their two-game skid against Chawan this weekend in a nationally televised contest. For HBCU Game Day, it's your boy, Wally Pitt.